Well, hello, my friends. Welcome back to Breath with Sergio. In today's episode, I'm doing a virtual studio visit with Elise Wagner in Oregon. We're going to talk about planning for a studio, like open studio day, and also doing it virtually. Well, hi, Elise. Good to see you today. How are you? Oh, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Welcome back. You are now a regular of Breakfast with Sergio. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> um, it's really great. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. No problem. And I really uh, was looking forward to chatting with you because you've been super active. Uh, I've been following you uh, also through social media and all the things that you are doing. Uh, I'm very excited to see you're having uh, this weekend uh, open studio event. And also you have a virtual release event. So you got all these things happening at the same time and preparing for other things. And also you have new help coming into your studio. So it's kind of a kind of a busy season for you right now. It is. It really seems like it's, there's a shift taking place. And I'm really excited about what's going on. And, and it's a very lively environment. And there's, there, there's lots to do. And it's being done. So it's wonderful to see all of these things come to fruition. Exciting, exciting. And one of the things that I was really interested in chatting with you is, you know, as you're planning a studio visit, you know, post kind of like pandemic lockdown, you know, how are you uh, kind of preparing for that as people are, you know, still some of them like wondering, should I go? Should I not go? You know, how are you uh, addressing yeah. that issue so that people feel comfortable about coming? Yeah, I just sent out my uh, announcement today again, our little reminder. And I, I basically said, you know, I don't know how to do this because I, it's, it's difficult. People are very wary of, of yeah. going out and I don't want to assume it's just business as usual and, right. you know, come to my studio. So I try to assure people that, you know, we're going to be doing all kinds of safety measures. Mm -hmm. I set up uh, different hour uh, intervals on both days and I set That's up a great. preview. And then there's a half hour in between where we're going to wipe everything down and uh, we're only going to allow four appointments at a time. And what I, what I found to be really good about that is that you can really narrow in on who is interested. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I, as much as I like having big public events in my studio, um, I go through more wine than I do art sales. And so uh, this kind of helps it focus in <laughs> on uh, the people that buy art and are interested in right. what I'm doing, whether it's teaching or, or selling my small works or my prints. So there's something for everyone and it, and it does create a little bit of a focus. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And another thing I'm doing differently is I'm, I'm giving the option if people really are wary and I, you know, right. I, I'm with the best of them there. I'm, I'm wary as well. I don't know what to do when it comes to right. going to public events. Um, and I, I want to stay safe uh, because right. I was New York, you know, up until mid March. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm offering a zoom call. Uh, so a virtual Zoom call for an appointment there, uh, you know, they can uh, set it up with me through my email and then we can uh, take them on a virtual tour of everything. And, and uh, so that's, that's another way I'm, I'm tackling what I normally do. This is an 18 year tradition here at my studio. Wow. I've been having summer studio open houses uh, since I moved into my house and, and remodeled the garage into my studio. So it's, uh, there's, a, there's a place that's rich with history uh, at my home, and I always invite, invite people in to see my studio. And, and I want that tradition to continue, but it's continuing in a different way. And I'm just trying as hard as I can to just go with the changes. Yeah. No, I love that, how you are adapting to the realities. You're not, like you said, just going business as usual. And, and that's why I wanted to have this chat with you too, because I'm sure there are a lot of artists who are watching this video right now and, and maybe are planning something similar. They're kind of thinking about the different ideas mm -hmm. and how to run and how to do it. So I think you have really thought about all the different elements of this idea of, well, let's, let's do a bracket of time. So only a certain amount of people can come at a, at a certain time. So that that has, you know, um, invites people to or, uh, sign in or reserve a spot right. where you know they're coming and they know that they won't be, you know, in a big crowd, but very uh, strict measures. And then giving, I, I love that idea of giving a cushion in between to, um, you know, sanitize in any case. And anyway, you know, when somebody will come to your studio, it's not like they're going to be touching everything or, you know, you don't touch right. it, anything, right? But yeah. at least just to give you, uh, and I think more than anything gives also the person on the other side a, a sense of uh, 
of relief and a sense of uh, of uh, assurance that you are doing your part, you know, to keep everyone safe as well. Yeah, and that they, they can go out and do something fun, and it is summer. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then, uh, I, I open the garage door. There's still a garage door on my studio, so I just yeah. open that. And in the summertime, it's very open air. Oh, I, wow. work, yeah. I work indoor and outdoor. I everything is on wheels so that I can work indoors and outdoors. Yeah. Are you putting also like maybe outside, like in the in the driveway or patio, like little chairs or something where people can yeah. sit down? Yeah, there's going to be a shaded area. I have a, okay. a, big, a big shade that I get out and I put it on what we're starting to call the lanai patio, which is a separate <laughs> nice. from the bamboo patio. And then I will often take my larger works if somebody mm -hmm. makes a request for that from my inventory and I'll just set them right in my bamboo grove. That's so awesome. Look at them in the bamboo. <laughs> so, so you're thinking about all the different... Really fun, but... creative ways to display the art too mm -hmm. around here, which is really wonderful. And and so then how about for the studio, online studio business? Are you going to be doing like scheduling them one-on-one -on -one, or is it like you can join at a certain time and you'll be one of many people uh, joining with a um, virtual well, board? You know, it really depends on the response rate. So far okay. it's low. So yeah. uh, I would say that it would probably be a one-on-one -on -one where I'm walking around with my okay. phone or my computer. The other thing that's on the table for today, I think, with my chief content officer, Ren, is uh, the possibility of a Facebook Live on the preview night, mm, uh, which that would is be cool. Friday. So mm -hmm. I, uh, yeah, I have to get with that in my head right now. I'm still finishing 15 pieces, so I'm <laughs> <laughs> you know, lots what? to do. That's awesome. And since you brought it up, that's another uh, kind of part of the conversation that I really wanted to have with you is the idea of, and I have done a, previously a Breakfast with Sergio episodes in which I talk about, you know, bringing a studio assistant or somebody who can help you in different parts or areas of your mm -hmm. career where you might need uh, the help so that you can focus on the things that, that you want to focus on. And so recently you uh, brought in to your artist studio team a uh, content um, Okay, give, give me again the uh, uh, chief content. <laughs> well, uh, we arrived at chief content officer. Chief content uh, officer. I love yeah. that. That's super yeah. cool. <laughs> Very super talented awesome. uh, musician and marketer uh, and uh, moved here from West Virginia. Mm -hmm. uh, and we this plan was delayed from, uh, it was supposed to happen in, in April and we were mm -hmm. in New York together. And then uh, I, I was in lockdown at her home in West mm -hmm. Virginia. And then she drove out here and uh, has moved into the house and is helping in ex with a with a rental exchange. So it's it's mm -hmm. it's a perfect situation. Perfect yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, she does a certain amount of hours per month, and uh, and then it alleviates me from some of the things that I don't get to or have the time to do. Yeah. So it's wonderful. It goes from anywhere from my artwork archive uh, organization to. Uh, actually being in the studio while I'm working and shooting what I'm doing and, and just eliminates that whole step of having to set up the camera and get right. the right tripod. And the, you know, I have all the equipment. Mm -hmm. I just don't, I, I cannot, I'm not like a genie. Mm -hmm. So I need another human and, and, right. and this isolation that has been very challenging to make nice videos Right. where you're just the one person and, right. and you're shooting it and, and you want to get a different angle, but you can't because you're mm -hmm. not that other person. <laughs> that's exactly. In the room. Well, and so, I think what is nice is then it allows you to then focus on the things that you really want to spend the time on because you know the other things are still getting done. Um, okay. and, uh, and then you're bringing also another set of expertise into the team because at the end of the day you know mm -hmm. uh running your career is is running a full business and you have to think about all parts of the business uh, yes. uh and uh, so you know bringing people in in the areas um that you need help i think is very important and as we kind of prepare for, to wrapping it up uh you know talking about investment you, know, you have invested also in learning and uh you know you came also and uh, were with us in the Art Next Level Academy for, uh, you know, for quite some time. So tell us yeah. a, a little bit also about your experience, you know, learning inside the Academy. Uh, it, it, it was a wonderful experience. I gained quite a bit about, I learned a lot about social media and about um, the importance of really connecting with your audience. 
Mm -hmm. uh, that's a very big one. Uh, staying in touch with people, uh, not being afraid to say, hey, I have something going on and I'm going to share it with you. Right. And, uh, and, and just staying connected, um, website stuff, social media, the Instagram, very helpful. Uh, learning about hashtags. I mean, just mm -hmm. that you can search a hashtag and follow a hashtag and then how that whole algorithm works and changes and it's complicated and I've, I've had a very love-hate relationship with Instagram. <laughs> uh, but all, yeah. Very helpful uh, in that way. And, and also the community, the people that I've met. I've met some wonderful other artists and uh, having that community uh, when you have a frustration or you come up against something that you don't know what to do, there's always someone that's, that's a little further ahead or a little for you know behind yeah. and so it, you know you shouldn't feel self-conscious about um you know where you're at it's where you are right. yeah. um and 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 then just use everything as a resource including the right. people that, you know you meet people their resources and an incredible amount of information on there another thing that i did uh through uh, art next level was i learned about the drop shipping options and merchandising mm -hmm. of my mm -hmm. work on scarves and uh, tote bags and things like that. And that's yeah. been a pretty, I mean, it's, it's something that needs a little bit of love, like every channel yeah. of, <laughs> like everything of, of, else. of revenue does. Um, <laughs> but it, it's, it's perking along. And that was a wonderful thing to learn about too, is how you can add another layer of, and, and have all of these passive forms of income to, uh, yeah. to, to, you know, support right, yourself right. as an artist. Well, thank you, Lisa. I mean, uh, that was uh, also really fun to get to know you more through the Academy yeah. and through uh, all the things that we do together as well. And uh, as we uh, close this session, because you've been awesome and that's, who, uh, that's why you are a good friend of Breakfast with Sergio. <laughs> uh, <laughs> tell us where can our friends find you online and also on social media. And really quickly also, uh, before you do that, which I also would like to uh, I give you a chance to do, if you can give us just a quick snapshot of what type of work you make for those friends who have not seen your work before. Oh, okay. Um, uh, I, you can find my work at EliseWagner.com and Instagram at EliseWagnerStudio. And I am also on Twitter and Facebook as Elise Wagner. Um, and what I do is I, I work with the medium of encaustic painting, which is an ancient medium that combines mm -hmm. beeswax, resin, and pigment. And I've been working with it. I taught myself how to do it in around 2000 or 1992, actually. Oh, okay. And then around 2001, I started printing from the texture of my paintings on an etching mm -hmm. press. Mm -hmm. And so I also am a printmaker. I print mostly encaustic holographs and monotypes. And I do small work and big work. And I show at galleries in Houston, Washington, D.C., and Seattle, as well as a print gallery in Palm Springs. And, uh, and right now I'm running my own local show here at my studio in Portland, but I also were, I also show at a coastal gallery in Astoria, uh, mm -hmm. Oregon. So, awesome. yeah. Well, very cool. Thank you, uh, Elise. And for our friends, also Elise has uh, online workshops that she does. So check yes. those out too on her website. Make sure you do that. And, yes, um, more workshops. one is coming up uh, mm -hmm. on the 14th of July. I'm teaching encaustic holograph printmaking. Oh, that's exciting. So, uh, so join me. You can meet me in my studio and we can have some fun. Very cool. Is that one a virtual uh, workshop or a on workshop. workshop? Yeah. Okay. Super. Just on Zoom. Yeah. Excellent. Well, at least thank you so much for joining us. Thank you to all, all right. our friends. Thank yeah, you. Thank I thank really you. appreciate you having me and hello to everybody. Just keep Keep on keeping on. Keep on absolutely, creating. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, my friends, for watching. Please do us a favor. Share this episode with all your friends. It will make Elise and I super happy when we see those shares. <laughs> so thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.